Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Luke Ness Monster, and today we're going to be looking at all of the Star Wars The Black Series Fan First Wednesday predictions. If you guys didn't know, Hasbro is doing a Fan First Wednesday live stream for the Black Series and TVC uh, on this Wednesday, April 6th. So, you know, only two days away as of right now. But for real, I am super, super excited for this stream. It's been a little bit since we've got a, a stream before it. I believe it was in January was the last stream. It might have been the beginning of March. But it's been a month or two since then, and I'm really excited to see some more reveals. Real quick, though, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure to go down, hit that like button, and subscribe, because we're also doing a giveaway. We're giving away this uh, Mando build a pack at 7,000 subscribers. You do have to be subscribed to the channel though to enter, so make sure you're subbed. And basically, how the giveaway will work is once we hit 7k, all you have to do is make sure you're subbed and then comment on my 7k giveaway video once we hit it because I'll release that once we hit 7k and you will be entered in the giveaway. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. And on to the video. So in this video, I'm going to be going over all of the things that I think we could get revealed at this live stream. First up, Yakface actually did drop a few hints on what we could be getting. He did drop this image right here. And on the right are the code names that he said are pretty much guaranteed to be getting revealed. So first things I want to address on here is I believe it's March, April, and May on here. I could be wrong. It might be February, April, February, March, April. Might, it's, it's a few different months in the year. So uh, I could be completely wrong. I could have got them wrong. But those months are rumored to be the comic book line. We already got Black Satan from this line revealed, but there are actually three more figures from that line, and I'll throw them up right now. These are super cool looking figures, I do have to say, and I'm actually really, really excited to be seeing them in the Black series. Uh, I think we can pretty much expect that the Stormtrooper is just going to be a reuse of the 2020 Stormtrooper with a lightsaber, maybe a few like uh, add-ons on top, but I would not expect a new mold for this figure. The uh, comic book line is normally reuse, so I would not expect a brand new figure from this guy, but the other ones, I'm assuming, are going to be reuse as well. I'm not sure how they're going to do Leia reuse, but but I guess we will see. And then Darth Vader is literally just going to be Darth Vader painted white. So, yeah, I cannot wait for this. I am really excited to see how these turn out in hand, or at least in uh, in images. But, yeah, pretty excited for that. Yakface also did tease that some fan channel exclusives would be getting revealed as soon as Tuesday and not actually during the live stream. And so when I heard this, I immediately thought of these comic book figures. The comic book figures aren't normally revealed during live streams. The last wave was not. It was just revealed randomly, you know, the Yak, or not Yak face, but Hasbro will just sometimes randomly uh, announce figures. And normally that's what the comic book figures are. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's what happens tomorrow. If we get these three figures revealed tomorrow and not actually during the live stream. One of the figures on here is actually titled Gaming Greats 3. I wasn't exactly sure what this figure was at first, but after some digging, I actually did find on Yak Face's website that Black Series Gaming Greats 3 is codenamed for the Black Series Commando Sev. This makes sense. We just got uh, we just got Boss and Fixer announced recently, and so Sev it would be the next one to be uh, brought into the Gaming Greats line. So I'm actually really excited for Sev. I know some people uh, are not a huge fan of the new Commando bodies with it just reusing Hunter's body, but I'm excited for Sev, and that'll just be the third member of Delta Squad. All we need after that is Scorch. So I am actually really excited for that. There is also Black Series. Aaron is what uh, this one is called. We had no clue what this is. I had I did not recognize the codename at all. Most of the time, the codenames follow a pattern of some sort, and I had not really seen this codename at all. But I did some digging, and I found out that the uh, codename Aaron is actually a helmet. It's part of the electronic helmet line, and it looks like it is from the Mandalorian. So I was just thinking about what are some Mandalorian helmets we don't have in the line yet so I immediately thought repaints because knowing Hasbro they're gonna try to repaint as many helmets as possible before making new molds so I immediately thought of the Stormtrooper helmet they still haven't done the Mortar Trooper from Star Wars the Mandalorian so obviously they could just repaint uh, that helmet and make the yellow Mortar Trooper I think that'd work pretty well I think they could repaint Boba Fett's helmet and give us the Tython Jedi Ruins Boba Fett helmet, which is basically also just Cobb Vance helmet, so I guess you could also market it as Cobb Vance helmet. Either way, uh, we could be getting a repaint of the Boba Fett helmet. I think that would work pretty good as well. Then the only other one that I could think of, uh, I guess, 
could possibly be reused is bo helmet. I think Hasbro could always reuse that and make Casca Reeves' helmet. While I don't think Casca Reeves' helmet would be accurate to bo I think knowing Hasbro, they do like reusing a lot of helmets. And knowing Hasbro, they're not going to go out and make a new mold for a helmet like Casca Reeves. They're just going to repaint bo -Katans. So, if anything, I think uh, those would be the three possible reuses. But if we are getting new molds, I think there are a few options. I think a Heavy Infantry Mandalorian, or uh, I guess also known as Paz Vizsla, I think he has a pretty awesome looking helmet in the show, and I think this would be a great translation into the Black Series, so I think this is a possible helmet we could get. Other than that, I did think of a few maybe like troop builders that we could get. I think uh, with both Mando and Mayfeld going undercover as uh, the, uh, I guess, like tank drivers, we could always get the hover tank driver helmet as a Black Series helmet. It would not be my first choice, but I think there are several different ways they could reuse this helmet in the future. And, uh, I mean, it's pretty cool looking. It's another Stormtrooper helmet, and uh, I do love Stormtrooper helmets, so I would not complain at all. Another one that I could see them doing is a Scout Trooper helmet. This is one that I really, really like, and I hope that's what this helmet is. The Black Series needs a Scout Trooper helmet super bad, and uh, I prefer a Return of the Jedi version before a Mandalorian version, because the Mandalorian version will be dirty and dusty and like remnant uh, Scout Trooper. But I think that's quite possible, as there was that last scene in Season 1 of The Mandalorian with the two Scout Troopers that got totally beat up by IG-11, uh, so... Yeah, I think a Scout Trooper would also be a pretty possible helmet. But now, also going over a few things that Yakface didn't rumor, he said that these five are pretty much guaranteed for the live stream. But then he also came back and said that the fan channels might reveal some stuff early. So that makes me think that uh, there's Hasbro has so many reveals for this stream that they're revealing these fan channel ones early to fill it in with something else. And so I think that Black Series Wave 33 has a really good chance of getting announced at this live stream. The Endor, uh, I believe Ewok Village Leia, has actually shown up in the US in Hasbro's distribution centers, which means that the wave is probably not too far away. This wave does consist of Orc Trooper Jesse, Endor, Ewok Village Leia, Figure and Dan. And then, of course, Kiati Mundi and Ayla Secura. This is going to be a really, really good wave. I think every single one of these is a must pick up for me. And uh, yeah, I think this wave does have a great chance of getting revealed. But yeah, Black Series Wave 33 is an awesome wave, and I just absolutely cannot wait for it. So, fingers crossed that that wave will get revealed. But there's always chance of, you know, mystery exclusives or deluxe figures thrown in there. And so one figure that I really, really hope will get revealed is in Arc Trooper 5s. Like I said, we never know if we're going to get this figure or not. I'd prefer it sooner than later, but, you know, I always have to hold out hope that we'll get an Arc Trooper 5s. If you guys were paying attention earlier when I did throw up the code names for the different helmets, you might have saw a Revenge of the Sith Clone Trooper helmet. Uh, a while ago, Yakface did rumor a clone trooper helmet in the black series but everybody assumed it to be a attack the clones helmet considering that this is the 20th anniversary of attack the clones and like two days before he posted the 20th anniversary of attack the clones logo on his page but i guess he did confirm that is a revenge of the sith helmet which is honestly really really cool so you never know maybe we'll get a revenge of the sith helmet at this live stream a clone helmet to be specific i think that would be amazing there's so many different repaints you could do i could name 25 off the top of my head right now so there's so many different repaints and re-sculpts and everything you could do with the revenge of the sith clone trooper helmet specifically phase two that i think once they announce that we'll just keep on getting like non-stop clone trooper helmets in the black series it'll be really really amazing so yeah uh cannot wait for that don't know when i don't think it'll be at this live stream but it is always a possibility and also speaking of hasbro's electronic line they normally do a lightsaber or two at some of these live streams. So if there were to be another Force Effects Elite lightsaber, I do have one guess. The only one that I could think of it being is Cal Kessis' lightsaber, which honestly would be just absolutely amazing. Uh, normally when it, be when it comes to uh, the Black Series and Disney Parks, the Black Series is not too far off and Disney Parks did just reveal their Cal Kessis lightsaber, so I would not be surprised if the Black Series also decided to reveal a Cal Kessis lightsaber as well. I would prefer that, so yeah, I, I don't know, I I'm a huge Cal Kessis fan, so I'd love to see his lightsaber in the Black Series line. And honestly, the only other thing that I could think of possibly getting revealed at this livestream 
is uh, the previous archive wave that Yak Face did pipeline. This is a wave that I'm not excited for. Most of the figures in this kind of suck, I'm not going to lie. And so um, this is not, not a pipeline wave that I'm super, super excited for, but, you know, we'll see. I, I, I expect it to get revealed at a future live stream, so you never know. This one might be it, but... Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for the video. If you did enjoy, hit the like button and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys think you're going to get revealed at this live stream. And make sure, like I said, to hit that subscribe button because I will be covering all of the news that comes out within the next few days. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of that news. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.